Hey guys, um, most of you know by now I'm Kyler Wilson and I host a little, uh, well, a bunch of different little shows on our Movieholics channel here on YouTube uh, with Monica Kasurk, my lovely, lovely fiance. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is nothing film related, which will not happen on this channel very often, but uh, it does kind of pertain uh, to film reviewing, so I wanted to let you guys know what my experiences have been in uh, a topic called fair use. Fair use is when a copyright owner releases a product and you want to take that product and review or criticize as well as parody. Um, now, per uh, the law as of May 9th, 2015, you have absolute legal right per the fair use portion of copyright law to review that product and use footage from the source material to prove your, your point, your review, or your critique. So what we have had to deal with as a channel is uh, releasing our product and, and having YouTube flag us constantly, constantly, constantly. Just flag, 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 and all the different stuff that we're doing when we obviously are protected under fair use. The problem is YouTube's content ID system is a little too strenuous. Um, so you have to jump through these legal hoops sometimes. Um, and I just want you guys to know what you have to do in order to be successful. Again, this is not legal advice in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's just what I've dealt with and what I've done to, to make these, these content ID claims, uh, the rebuttals, successful. So here's kind of the way the process works. Um, they'll flag your content and then you, uh, you rebut it. And if they say, okay, yeah, this is fair use, great. If they don't, then you now have to rebut again. If you rebut again and they come back on you again, they can copyright strike you. If they copyright strike you, they limit some of the, the things that your account can do. Um, you, can't re you can't rebut other claims. It's really, really annoying. So you have to submit what they call a counter notification. Now this can be very scary, especially if you're not sure that you fall under fair use of copyright law. So one thing that you need to ask yourself is did you transform the product? Are you critiquing it? Are you reviewing it? Again, I'm not here to give you legal advice. You can go look up true copyright law on your own, but this is what I know about fair use. You need to be able to, to prove that you've transformed the product. In other words, you're not just redistributing their product so that you can get views on your channel. Um, so, you submit the counter notification. Now, this is a bunch of legal jargon that, that they throw at you, and it's scary. Like, it's scary, just to be perfectly honest with you. And I can't imagine how many people they've ran away that wanted to do this very thing, and they don't because they get scared that Paramount's gonna come down on them or the Weinstein Company's gonna come down on them or Universal's gonna come down on them. But if you just know your rights and you know exactly what you've done, then you can prove that you are critiquing this product and you haven't just redistributed something, you absolutely will win every time. You just need to, you just absolutely need to know that, that you are in the right. You know, obviously, if you get too concerned, contact an entertainment lawyer and everything, but this is something I've had to deal with a couple times now, and it's it can, it's frustrating. You got to jump through a bunch of hoops, and you have to wait while your account is in this weird kind of limbo and suspension. But if you just know, again, your rights as a critiquer or as a reviewer, you will you will succeed. You just need to make sure that you can you can prove through all the outlets. Um, again, just don't get bullied by these people because that's what they're hoping for. They don't. They ultimately don't want you putting their stuff on YouTube because then they can't control the content. But it is your right, again, your right under fair use to do so. So don't get bullied by them. That you don't need a lawyer in most cases because you can just say this is clearly a review. If it gets too hairy, obviously you can get an entertainment lawyer. But I've I've not had to hire an entertainment lawyer as of yet, and everything has worked out fine. So that's what I just wanted to touch with you again on fair use and kind of let you know that's something that I've had to deal with a lot and it shouldn't dissuade you if that's something that you want to do. So uh, that being said, I guess I'm going to sign off. Uh, it's not the most entertaining video, I apologize, but I just wanted you guys to know. So uh, if you did like the video, you can always let me know in the comments section below. I'll probably never release another weird video like this again, but it will be here on the channel. So make sure that you uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and all that good jazz, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces.